Monu, did you pray after getting up? around you. Can you tell us what are the things that make you happy? What makes me happy? Mm. Play football makes me happy. I feel happy when I spend time with my family and friends. What makes me happy? Mm. Playing with my friends. colors of crayons, but one day all the crayons fell from my bag and broke, and then my happiness turned into sadness. I agree with you. We can't be happy all the time. Oh no! What can we do when things make us sad? How can we be happy all the time? Like in this pandemic, there are so many things that make me sad. <sighs> Do you want to find out how to be happy all the time? Even when things around us make us sad. Come, let's see the story together. Why are you all so upset? You know, with this pandemic and restriction, we are not able to do our usual Christmas celebrations with our family, friends and church. This may seem sad because it is different this time. Do you remember what happened in the first Christmas? Um, the time when Jesus was born? 
Mary and Joseph faced a lot of problems too, right? Oh yeah, we learned the story in our Sunday school. Since it's Christmas time, we would love to hear it one more time. Yes, please do tell us the story one more time. Yes, I also want to listen to it one more time. Should please start right now. I can't wait. Mary came back from Elizabeth's house. It was time for Mary to have her baby. But they had to leave their town and go to Bethlehem to register their name with the government. Mary, hope we packed all the things for our journey. There might not be much things on the way. Yes, Joseph. I have packed all the clothes. I saw you pack the food for our journey. Our journey is going to be long. I can't wait to get started. Mary. God in the highest heaven and peace on earth.
Romans chapter 12 verse 12 Be happy because of the hope you have. Be patient when you have troubles. Pray all the time. One more way in which we can seek happiness is through songs that can uplift us. So here is a special song for today. Let us see how we can spread happiness. Happiness is something if you give it away You give it away, you give it away Happiness is something if you give it away Then it comes right back to you Oh it's just like a magic penny Hold on tight and you won't get any Lend it, spend it, give it away Then it comes right back
<laughs> It's Christmas time. Yeah. Oh. We come to the end of today's episode. We end with a message for our season. The true spirit of Christmas is putting the happiness of others before our own. find happiness even during this pandemic i can find happiness by trusting in the word of god A strange year this has been. It sure started with a bang, but soon fizzled away. One that left dreams dangling and plans hanging. It's December already. You know, the time of the year that is supposed to be all joyful and fun, spreading hope and good cheer to everybody and everyone. More like hopelessness. Where is this hope? It doesn't seem to be found anywhere. Let's meet the Ebenezers. An ordinary family like yours and mine. And I'm sure you'll get your answers. And now, the same ordinary people struggling to lead the same ordinary life. You see that? Come on guys, it's Christmas Eve. Where's the tree? Where's the star? Where's your Christmas spirit? I swear we must be the only people here not celebrating Christmas. I know, right? It's Christmas Eve and we still haven't put up a tree, not even a star. Are you even listening? Come on, it's Christmas. Go just get me some groceries. I'll cook up a special lunch for us. Are you guys out of your mind? Really? Is this the time to celebrate? How many times have you gone over this? People are dying. Kids your age are not even able to attend school because parents can't even meet their basic needs. People have lost their job. Your grandparents are alone in Kerala. I'm worried sick about them. See, still more positive cases. Oh God, will there be no end to this? You still want to celebrate? Ridiculous! Don't bother me anymore with this. We are just trying to be thankful. You handled things better before. But it's Christmas. Oh wow. How festive! Is this what you meant? Not yet. Wait for it. This night's going to get real interesting. Overburdened by the worries of everyday life, a restless Ebenezer gave up on sleep. Well, what do we have here? A blast from the past? Is that Ebenezer's old Sunday school teacher? Ah, reading the Bible? Good choice, my son. So you haven't forgot everything that I've taught you. What's going on? Am I, am I dreaming? Maybe or maybe I am memory from your past of the time when you were growing up in faith and learning to trust the Lord, reading the stories of David and Daniel, of Ruth and Job. The Lord has blessed you and helped you and provided for you even more than what you have desired for. Isn't that true? The Lord 
who has led you this far is still mighty to save you. After all, he is the true gift of Christmas and because he lives, we are hope for our tomorrows. That was weird. I must have fallen asleep. That was bizarre. Now you got me hooked. What's up next? Do you hear that? Who could that be? Oh, right. I know. His mom. Oh, don't be so melodramatic. Why am I seeing you now? Maybe it is all that stress. I am telling you, it is just going to get you bored. I know that you are worried. So was I. But after attending all those prayers and Bible studies and meeting family and friends online, we have realized that we are not alone. Yeah, you know these online meetings? I am telling you, they are so convenient. Log out of one, log into another. But leave all that. You know the best part? I have learned that God can use us at any age for His glory. I have contributed 10 meal packets to the old age home as part of the Sevega Sangam initiative. I am so grateful. So I have decided to donate not only food but books and medicines also to the orphanage this Christmas. After all, what greater gift is there to give than hope to those who have none? Isn't that what our Lord has taught us? The surprises for the night are not over yet. Ebenezer still has one more very important visitor. I'm dreaming, I'm dreaming, I'm dreaming, I'm dreaming, I'm dreaming. So I see that you've been reading the Bible. I presume you have been looking for some answers. Did you find what you're looking for? I don't know. I've been looking for hope. Something to show me there's been an end to all this misery and suffering. This constant battle of the unknown. I mean, just, just look around you. People are dying. People are not even able to make it from one day to the other. And it's been going on forever. Ready? My son, in this world you will have trouble. But take heart, I have overcome the world. I have promised to never leave you nor forsake you. My plans for you, they are to prosper you, to give you a hope and a future. And you know what? My plans, they stand firm forever. Use this time of reflection and reawakening to be a faithful disciple, a true witness for me. Look around you where there is misery to spread cheer, where there is suffering to lend a hand. Let others experience my love through your life. I'm so sorry, Lord. I was so caught up in the chaos around me that I not see the hope right in front of me. Thank you, Lord, for strengthening me and showing me that I'm truly blessed. Now that calls for a celebration, doesn't it? What day is it today? Have I missed Christmas? Is it too late already? No, it's too late. <gasps> Thank you, Lord. You know what? I'm so wrong to let all my troubles take precedence of the true meaning of this day. I think we should celebrate Christmas. What do you say? Let's put up the tree and the star. Ebenezer's problems still remain, as does the problems around the world. But now Ebenezer knows he can face tomorrow, come what may, because his saviour lives.
It is a great joy that Jesus was born in a small stable in Bethlehem. But greater was the joy that he was born in our hearts by faith. At so I celebrate Christmas. Our Lord Jesus came into the world as an incarnate word, the truth of God's eternal love and his perfect grace. So I celebrate Christmas. He sees us in those times and seasons when it feels that no one else does. As I look up to him, I know that he is looking upon me too. And for his everlasting love, I celebrate Christmas. I used to be confused and afraid of Jesus' obstacles. But now I know that these obstacles are not in the way of God's plan. They are a part of his glorious plan for my life. With His grace, I overcome every day. So I celebrate this. Through the salvation we have in Christ, we have everlasting hope. Hope that reminds us that our current reality is not our final reality. So that's why I celebrate Christmas. I am chosen. I am blessed. I am the child of God. The old is gone. The new is here. In Christ, I am a new creation, and so I celebrate Christmas. Amidst all my uncertainties, I believe in the God's word that says, In all of this, we are more than conquerors through him who loves us, and so I celebrate Christmas. When I think that in this ever-changing world, I am an unchanging God, all the joy that fills my heart. He is my rock of refuge in the storm tossed sea. And so I celebrate Christmas. He is the one who is able to bring honor to all those things. Master and saving friends of peace. Beacon of hope to all those who are oppressed. And so I celebrate Christmas. What's my name? He knows my every thought. He sees each turn of thoughts. He hears me when I call. He calls me his own. And he never leaves me alone. And so I celebrate Christmas. My teacher, my comforter, my counselor, my friend. His value and worth I cannot comprehend. He lifts me and frees me when I am tempted to hide. I can go forth in peace knowing he's always by my side. And so I celebrate Christmas. The birth of Jesus Christ brought in a new covenant, the start of a triumphant, victorious life for all those who believed, opening the way back to God. And so, I celebrate Christmas. My God tells me that we who hope in the Lord will renew our strength. We will soar on wings like eagles. We will run and not grow weary. We will walk and not grow faint. So, I celebrate Christmas. A gift that was given to me a long time ago. The gift that shows me the right thing to do. The gift that keeps on giving. The one that perfectly fits every heart. Jesus Christ, my Lord. And so I celebrate Christmas. He is the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. I know that he who is in me is greater than he who is in the world. Nothing is too difficult for the God to overcome. So I celebrate Christmas. I grew up.
up. I aspire to become a professor because I love teaching and I would love to share the knowledge of what God has given me to others. I plan to join the United Nations as it is responsible for many many initiatives worldwide. When I grow up, I would like to be a veterinarian because I love animals and would love to do my part to help protect God's creation. When I grow up, I want to work in the medical field, mainly because I want to help people in the little way that I can. Uh, I want to become a veterinarian because I love being around animals and I always wanted to work in a field where animals are involved and also because I find animals very peaceful and calming. When I grow up, I would like to be a pilot. I have chosen to be a pilot as I love travelling around the world and being a pilot, I can do just that. My dream is to become a fighter pilot. I know it will be hard because I need courage and bravery. In the future, I would like to pursue the profession of teaching because I want to inspire young minds just as my teachers did. I would like to become a motorsport engineer when I grow up. At the same time, I wish to serve a part-time ministry in the church in the future. I want to be a businessman because I want to create jobs and help people earn a living. My ambition in life is to help the environment and its wildlife as I believe it is my duty to preserve and protect the nature that the Lord has provided for us. I would like to be is a comic artist because a comic artist is actually inspiration to each and everybody. Life is to become a doctor. My purpose in life is to be an inspiration in another person's life and to also live according to the word of God. Space in the universe has always baffled me when I was a little child and I always wanted to become an astronaut since I was a little child because it intrigued me of how uh, space travel and uh, the different discoveries in space. I'm still in the process of figuring out what I want to do in life. But when I do find out, I hope that it's aligned with what God's purpose is for me. Hi, I'm Joseph. Do you know which Joseph? Yes, you guessed it right. God's purpose in me was revealed when an angel came and asked me to accept Mary as my wife, even though I knew she was pregnant. He arranged a stable for the delivery and provided us resources for our journey to Egypt. God's guidance and providence remained with me all throughout my life. This Christmas, my message to you is, Obey God without question and He will reveal His purpose in your life. Hello there, I'm Mary, Jesus' mother. Jehovah anointed me to be the mother of Jesus Christ. I submitted myself to Jehovah's divine will. The road I travelled was not an easy one. I could have been stoned to death as for the Jewish law for my pregnancy before my wedding. But Jehovah blessed me and led me through. I saw my son crucified on the cross, but I knew he had a bigger purpose to save the entire humanity. Christmas 2020. My message to you is, humble yourselves to him and he will reveal his purpose in your life. Guys, hurry up! It's my last chance to be on TV! I was the first shepherd whom angels declare the birth of Jesus. Initially, we were terrified, but now we're overjoyed to see the Savior born in a manger. Excuse me, 
the angel spoke to me first even though we are ordinary shepherds jehova used us to spread the good news of his birth our message to you this christmas is even if we have a low status in the society we are great in god's eyes he will reveal his purpose in your life Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't give Mary room for delivery, but all rooms are filled with guests. I was even willing to give a room in my stable, but Jehovah used even the smallest of possibilities to fulfill His purpose. My dear friends, my message to you is that we should at least give a small space in our heart to Jesus, so that He may reveal His purpose in your life. Savior of the world, I bring you Mary. This is an anointing of our sins. My blessings for Christmas 2020. May the resurrected Christ bring new hope in your life. department in airport division as in the scripture says lord is my refuge and you make the most high your dwelling no harm will overtake you no disaster will come near your tent for he will command his angel to guard you in all your ways yes really i experienced this marvelous protection and the unconditional love from the almighty during this pandemic period as i told you i am working in the airport division I had to attend a multinational from different nations. During the first month of COVID, we were attending passengers even without a mask. Believe me, God has protected me and taken care of me. Sometimes I had to attend CPR. I had to give CPR for cardiac arrest patients even without knowing whether it is a positive case or a negative case. Sometimes after two days only we will come to know that it was a positive case which we attended. Believe me, nothing has happened up to now. God has protected me in His wings. I still remember the first positive case I had to attend was along with a Filipino nurse. As soon as he came to know that we are going to attend a positive case, he became so nervous and frightened. He himself told me, Ma'am, let us pray before we wear our PPE. Yes, I prayed in, inside our unit. At the end, I told, we are washed with the blood of Jesus. No harm will happen to us. God will take care of us and protect us. Believe me, nothing wrong happened to us or our patient. Our patient recovered very fast and left home. Truly, I can say, almost all of the nurses were going through a lot of emotional stress, not because of the hectic duty alone, but because of the pathetic situation which we were facing through. Sometimes the patient may aggravate into a critical stage very fast in front of our eyes. There were circumstances where we cried inside our PPE. Believe me, God has strengthened me, protected me, taken care of me with His unfaithful promises. All thanks and glory to Almighty. Thank you. Purpose through life and mission. Praise the Lord. I want to start with the story of a starfish. I have changed the story slightly to match my purpose. An old man walked across the beach until he came across his Sunday school teacher throwing something into the breaking waves. Upon closer inspection, the old man could see the Sunday school teacher was tossing standard starfish from the sandy beach back into the ocean. What are you doing, young man? He asked. The Sunday school teacher replied, If the starfish are still on the beach, when the sun rises, they will die. He answered. That is ridiculous. There are thousands of miles of beach and millions of starfish. It doesn't matter how many you throw in. You can't make a difference. The Sunday school teacher said, 
it makes a difference to this one as he threw another starfish into the waves and it matters to this one also the great psalmist david has written some 138 and the verse 8 reads the lord will work out his plans for my life for your faithful love o lord endures forever don't abandon me for you made me what is the purpose of our life and what is the mission of our life i would say the purpose is to be a christian and the mission is to remain as a christian is it possible it is possible only we surrender our lives and live according to the plan of god as a christmas visits us again it's a reminder jesus the immanuel is with us he is with us always we are passing through a very difficult time and the coming days will be a tough time for the church also i want to conclude come pandemic or whatever situations in life worried about the future uncertainties what will happen what will i do for my next year you can face the future because he holds it happy christmas god bless you as we leave a tumultuous 2020 and enter into an unknown 2021 it is helpful to remember that god has a plan for our lives and the verse jeremiah 29:11 is just such a reminder for i know the plans i have for you declares the lord plans to prosper prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you a hope and a future when understood in context we discover that the words of jeremiah in 2911 were spoken to people in the midst of hardship and suffering people who were likely desiring an immediate rescue like the one hananiah lied about but god's response is not to provide immediate escape from the difficult situation rather god promises that he has a plan to prosper them in the midst of their current situation that my dear brothers and sisters is what holds good even today because the word of god is timeless regardless of our current situation that has been exacerbated by the pandemic god can work through it and prosper us and give us a hope and a future this is seen in the verses immediately following jeremiah 29:11 where god says call on me and come and pray to me i will listen to you you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart so let's seek the lord in our hearts and when we do we will always be in holy communion with our lord Hello everyone. Making plans can be very exciting, especially when those plans are a fulfillment of our dreams. But sometimes our excitement can cause us to move outside of God's purpose. When I ask my children about their future plans, what would you like to be? Most of them would say they want to be rich and famous. Their plans are geared towards having financial abundance and great popularity in life. There's nothing wrong in a Christian wanting to be rich and famous. The risk is not being able to reach reach the goal, but rather the choice we make to live 
our lives worshiping something other than god if our plan of becoming rich and famous is to give glory to god and give generously to others then i think it might be a good uh, good plan god has created each one of us for a specific purpose primarily that purpose is to bring honor to him and one way to do that is by meeting the needs of others in proverbs 19:21 we read many are the plans in person's heart but it's the lord's purpose that prevails this verse declares the sovereignty of god over the plans of men we want to take control of our lives and make plans which are not aligned to god's plan it is good to know the purpose of the lord in our lives that will make us succeed he is all wise he loves us and has the best plan for our lives we must learn to trust him and not to lean upon our own understanding in psalm 139 david says that we are fearfully and wonderfully made to bring glory to our creator he works through believers as we obey the great commission and build our lives on a relationship with christ it's through your life and mine through our personal witness and united ministry that god is winning the trust and obedience of lost people everywhere next time you have a big decision to make spend time in reading the word of god seek some godly counsel and the most important of all is to pray remember god is in control and his purpose will always be accomplished lord help us to make our plans in alignment with your purpose wishing you and your family a blessed christmas god bless you giving and that is encouragement what is encouragement encouragement is hope infusion that helps us keep fighting the fight of faith to give someone the gift of encouragement is an act of kindness directing them to the god of hope Today, Team Juniors are presenting a musical play called The Jingle Blues, based on the theme Encouragement. I can't wait to celebrate Jesus with you. No 
wonder how they can happily sing and shout Merry Christmas to everyone they pass, including me. Sometimes I just want to yell like you did. What makes it so merry? I'm barely able to feed my daughter and keep the electricity on. I just can't compete. You know what? Christmas isn't for people like me. My child, I came to lift the weak from the dust, to raise the poor from the ash heap, to set them with princes and to bestow on them an honored position. Who thought a generic Christmas card from some other kid would be a great way to cheer me up? Not sure what I mean. Here, let me read it to you. Dear child, real personal, right? I'm sorry to hear you are in foster care. I hope you have a good Christmas. Sincerely, Luke. This is my favorite part. Luke included a picture of a family in front of a house. Wow, that makes me feel lots better. You know, for me, the worst part about Christmas time is watching everyone walk around with friends and family. Well, I don't have a real home anymore. Sure, my foster parents aren't nice, but I miss my sister. I miss my family. Christmas is just a bitter reminder that everything has changed. And I don't belong to anyone anymore. Christmas is not for someone like me. My son, I came to be a father to fatherless, to make you my offspring and adopt you into my family so that you are never alone. In me, you will always belong. My friend, I came to die for your sins and cleanse you from your shame and guilt so that you can be free. Jingle bells roll like jingle blah. Why is everyone so cheery? Did all the problems go away? Is there suddenly something to be happy about? What's really changed between November and December? You add a few bells. 
and some magic pixie dust and it makes everything immediately better? Everything isn't better. I still miss my wife. She's been gone for two years this December. Why would this time of the year would be anything but an awful reminder that she isn't here celebrating with me? Christmas just isn't for me anymore. My beloved, I came so that neither death nor life nor angels nor heavenly rules, nor things that are present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in creation will be able to separate you from the love of God. I came to be near the brokenhearted, to deliver those who are discouraged, to give hope and eternal joy. Jesus, I just wish I could be joyful right now. I wish I could feel Christmas is just for me. Jesus, can I connect to a holiday that is full of carols, Christmas cards and family when I'm so alone? I feel like an outsider, like I don't fit in. Instead, I just can't seem to shake these jingle blues. Jesus, I want to celebrate with everyone else. Instead, of feeling this grief and loss. How can Christmas possibly be for someone wounded and broken like me? Jesus, can you hear me? My child, I came to this world to be born in a manger so that you can be free from anything that separates you from true joy in me. When you look at your life, you only see poverty, grief, depression, guilt and loneliness. But I see hope, forgiveness, healing and life abundant. My friend, my grace is enough for you. For my power is made perfect in your weakness. My birth and my death were designed specifically for the lost, burdened and the wounded of this world. So my beloved, Christmas is especially for you. Verses 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. God is the God of hope. In no matter what the circumstances, there is always hope in God and in His ways and in His promises. For the Christian, hope is not some wistful dreaming, it is faith and assurance that the God who he says he is will always be faithful and true to his nature. Our hope comes from the God of hope. As we celebrate Christmas in this year of pandemic and we are not sure about the year to come, it is this wonderful song and dance performances based on the theme hope. From our junior team that's going to lit up our hearts. So please enjoy!
nothing's hurting When life is so confusing I am sure of one thing Got you by my side, yeah When I'm feeling lonely And I start to worry I know God you're near me And you're always by my side, yeah And I can lift my hands up to you I can raise my voice and sing You are who I put all hope in I will trust you in everything There is hope, there is hope in the Lord I will trust him today. I have hope. I have hope in the Lord. He is mighty and good. There is hope in the Lord. When the world is hurting, my life is so confusing. confusing. I am sure of one thing. God, you by my side. up to you I, I can raise my, my voice and, and sing Ooh. You are who I put all who